Good morning. As we get ready for the week this morning, I want to go over one little thing from last week as we uh, look ahead at the next week. I had a question from a student. It's a good one, and it's something I really camp on during the 16-week class, and I think in the brevity of this month-long session, it might get lost if we're not careful. And The student asked me, essentially, regarding the question about uh, Walt Disney and the emotion of Snow White. What did I mean? Walt would say of Snow White that he did not know if it was going to be a success until they were preview it, previewing it in the theater and when Snow White is laid out in the glass case, he heard weeping. I, I think that level of emotion was unknown to animated uh, subjects until Snow White. I don't think it had ever crossed anyone's mind that we could do that. Um, the animation, much like the humor of the time, was sight gags, uh, a lot of physical humor, things of this nature, slapstick comedy. And Snow White was the first really, really full-length um, dramatic story that um, weeping might be considered acceptable or not unusual. So... Uh, wanted to go over that because I think that is <clears throat> Walt's uh, clear victory with Snow White. Now this week we're going to start uh, talking about genre. One of the little films that I'm going to show you, uh, referring to it happened one night, uh, it calls it a screwball comedy. I, I think what you're going to see is um, that it's the first rom-com screwball comedy but there's romance I think that's clearly um, what's happening there and there is one scene in there that would have been acceptable um, whatever that is uh, 85 years ago whatever it is um, and would not be today the young lady's going hysterical and he slaps her um that would have played okay at the time. Now it does not. Other than that, I think it translates pretty well. It's uh, one of only three films um, to win the, the big five Oscars. Uh, best picture, best actor, etc. And the other two are uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Silence of the Lambs. Uh, only three films to have ever won the big five. It's actually very difficult to do. But It Happened One Night was a was a game changer. So we're going to look at that film this week. The next one is Singing in the Rain. And if you like musicals, it's probably not enough musical for you. And if you don't like musicals, it may be too much musical for you. And so it's sort of, it sort of defies categorization uh, within a genre. So you can deal with that when you get down to the rubric for the week. Hope you're enjoying the class. We're about halfway through, and I wish you good luck this week.